Crystal, thank you. An app will help anyone in the path of Hurricane Florence find shelter, find gas, and companies are shutting down their operations in the Carolinas. Jane King joins us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning to you, Jane. So industries in the Carolinas are bracing for Hurricane Florence. Not a real surprise. No, not at all. We've got Boeing in South Carolina, huge operation there. Volvo as well. They've shut down their factories in South Carolina. Now, Boeing makes a 787 Dreamliner in that state. North Carolina, by the way, has a huge hog business. There's worry about what the storm will do to the livestock, as well as if they get the huge amounts of rain that is predicted what that will do to the local water supply. You know, anytime we see a storm, we see lines and lines of people waiting to get gas. And there is an app out there that is very popular, very useful for people in the path of Florence. Yes, and I think we talked about this last year when we saw the hurricanes going through Florida. So there's this app. It works like a walkie-talkie. People in the path of Hurricane Florence are downloading it like crazy. Now, it's called Zello. It is free. The app lets you use your phone as a walkie-talkie or a two-way radio as long as you have a network or Wi-Fi connection. Very interesting, certainly, Jane. And also, we understand that um, we're also following more information about iPhones and debt. Uh, yes, so the iPhone is expected to be unveiled today by Apple, of course, uh, one of their, their big event really of the year where they unveil all these new gadgets. And more Americans are willing to go into debt to buy one Hi. of those new there? iPhones. Um, this is, uh, they say, especially millennials, according to this Wallet Hub survey, that they will uh, go into debt. In fact, millennials five times more likely than baby boomers to go into debt for the new phones. Uh, some of these could be $1,000. Some of them could be a little bit more than that. Uh, we expect to see a watch from Apple today and certainly at least three new iPhones. That's what's being, we're hearing. So we'll see what actually they unveil later today. Phones too, Jane. All right, thank you. Yes. So also small <laughs> businesses you. feeling very confident about the economy right now. Why is that? So a small business confidence index shows that small businesses are as optimistic about the economy as they ever have been. So this survey comes from the NFIB, and it found that many small businesses looking to hire in the near term and buy more equipment as well. All right, Jane, thank you so much. Okay. Have a good okay. day. Thank you.